Simon, finishing fastest today, uh, how did practice go for you and, and what are some things you guys worked on leading into tomorrow's qualifying session? Uh, yeah, no, it's been, uh, it's been great. It's been fun. I had French food last night too, so that was, that was nice. Uh, and I want to thank you. I see it's very busy here, so thanks for being here. Um, <clears throat> the car was, has been phenomenal all day. Uh, we, um, I feel very comfortable. Uh, it's great, uh, great to be back in Toronto. This track is so much fun to drive on because you know you, it's different to other tracks here. It's very low grip. You slide around in the corners. The, the tarmac changes throughout the corner. And it's giving you a great challenge. Um, so I really enjoy that. I really do. It's, um, you know, every corner is different. You need to change your driving corners to corners. It's not boring, I can tell you that. So uh, um, I'm excited. I think, the, again, the DXC car is, is really good. Uh, obviously, track is changing as the series go, all the series go on. So, um, so we're going to need to follow the track. But I think we've started right where we need to be. Um, you know, obviously, the difficult part from now on is to, uh, to find a magic, uh, magic, magic setup on the car for the red tires. And like Will said, there's quite a bit of a difference on the balance from the black tires to the reds. Um, so we'll see. I, I think we, we, we're okay, but I, I think um, that's going to be the tough part. You mentioned in one of your pre-race quotes that you don't feel like you've had the best luck here in terms of strategy. No. If no. It's, uh, it's been, this track has been funny to me. Uh, it's, been, um, it's been interesting. We've never had much luck here with strategies um, throughout the years, since 2012. So um, hopefully it's not a common trend, because I'm hoping that uh, this, uh, this year is going to be a good one. But um, we've always been very competitive. And, and Toronto is, um, it always has a twist in the strategy and in, in the race and whatever happens. Uh, like I said, that's probably due to the, 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 gr the grip, grip changes throughout the corners. It makes our life very difficult. So we'll see. Hopefully, um, hopefully we're on the right side of strategy this time. And changing subjects just a little bit. Uh, we all know how, how busy you drivers are throughout the season, but this week in particular was quite busy for you. You went straight from the Iowa Corn 300 on Sunday straight to L.A. for the ESPYs. Arrived here, I imagine, probably yesterday uh, for, for the race here, the Honda New Toronto. Tell us about your experience out in LA and, and just the the go 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 nature of, of that experience. Yeah, it was great. It was uh, it was a phenomenal time. Um, you know, being part of such a cast of athletes was was very special to me. You know, I, where I come from is only six thousand people in my hometown. It's a farmer town. So uh, being in LA around all these uh, athletes and you know um, p uh, celebrities was was quite uh, quite something. Um, I was just very proud, very honored, uh, very proud to re represent IndyCar as well. Um, they did a tremendous job at preparing the event and, and making sure that uh, everybody knew who I was, uh, which, which was great. And um, I was actually very surprised. We had a lot of, um, uh, lot of attraction from the media, from, uh, from other athletes, and, and I thought that was ph ph phenomenal to see. Questions for Simon. Bruce. Since you're talking about the ESPYs, did you f feel the humor or the, the way that whole Peyton Manning smackdown of uh, Kevin Durant went? Because that was probably the highlight of the night. <laughs> yeah, he, he did a, a, a super job. I mean, the whole show was, I mean, I call it a show, really. It was a show. Uh, the whole show was, uh, was really good. The commercial, I mean, not the commercial, but the, the little spots that he, he filmed were, were really funny. Uh, he's a funny guy. Uh, I have to say, I was uh, I was quite surprised of that side of, of Peyton Manning that you don't get to see very often. But uh, he's uh, he's a really good host, and um, yeah, he's got a lot more talent than I do actually on that side of things. <laughs> so, but uh, good time, very good time. Hey, by the way, I was right behind Snoop Dogg, so I thought that was cool. That's very cool, David. Um, I don't know how to follow that really. Um, but um, as far as I don't, I assume these uh, NASCAR Pinty cars are running good years. Is that going to uh, affect the uh, the balance uh, for you if it stays dry tomorrow? And are you actually kind of like praying for rain so that uh, you can get lay down for more Firestone rubber? I think any any kind of rubber on the track would be good for grip, um, to be honest. It's just gonna change the balance, which way it's gonna go. I don't know, we never run with them, so it's very difficult to know um, which way the car is gonna go. When we're behind the Indy lights, we kind of know now which way it's going, uh, but uh, behind these guys, we have no idea. So it's gonna add a twist again to, uh, to what, could be, uh, what could be practice or qualifying tomorrow. But uh, 
the end of the day here, you, there's a lot of times you just need to drive and, and just adjust to it. You're safe, but uh, it's not always easy in one lap. Patrick? Will talked about turn one. Is that the toughest part of the racetrack for you right now also? No, I'm struggling more with turn eight, uh, actually. Uh, those little patches that... Uh, so, you know, they've, they've redone the complete uh, braking zone, and all of a sudden you turn in, and there's a little patch here. It's right in the wrong spot, but, uh, but that's part of it. That's what makes it fun, too. Um, like I said, if it was all renewed tarmac, it'd be too easy almost. So I think uh, that's what's interesting. No, completely separate to Detroit. Um, a lot more, lot less grip here. And um, again, the differences in surface makes it different in every part of the corner. So it's, um, it's unique. There's no other places like this.